Dang it, Jim! I'm gonna... Whoa, guys. What's the problem here? He put my stuff in Jello again. No, 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 no. Don't take that out of the Jello. There are starving children in Africa who would love that food. And I hate starvation. Well, you're a witness. Can you reprimand him? How do you even know it was me? It's always you. Now, are you going to discipline him or not? Now, guys, <laughs> there's, a, there's a thing with office pranks. You have to know when to start and when to stop. And Jim, now would be the time to stop putting Dwight's personal effects in Jell-O. Somebody needs to tell me who put my stuff in Jell-O or I'm going to lose my freaking mind! Are you seriously going to sit in the back? Yes, the back of the vehicle is the safest part of the car, and in the event of a crash, the um, driver always protects their side first. No, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven of ten attacks are from the rear. But that still leaves a 30% chance that I can attack from the front. Yes, but it'll be easier to stop. I can just counter that. Nothing much. What's up with you? Oh, Jim, I fell for that. <laughs> what's what's the funny? Come on, give it to me. Uh, okay. Um, is it me or does it smell like up dog in here? What's up, dog? <laughs> Nothing much. How are you? Oh! Oh my gosh! I walked right into it! That was... Wow! That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Well, Stanley, is that jacket made of updog? I'm on the phone. I wasn't really on the phone. Oh, hey, Ryan. What flavor coffee is that? What's that? Is that up, dog? Huh? Hey, nothing. What's up with you? Um, yeah. Darn it. Ew, Andy. You smell like up, dog. What does that mean? What does what mean? That thing you just said. Just forget it. So, hey, Dwight, is it just me or does it smell like updog in here? What's updog? <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into that. <laughs> Crap. I mean, uh, nothing. What's up with you? Not too much. So close. Everyone, get to work! Uh, you know, uh, well, we might lose our jobs or something. Are we in danger of downsizing? No, no, not at all. Am I going to tell them that there's a possibility of downsizing? No. I don't see a point in that. As a doctor, would you tell a patient if they had cancer? Downsizing? Do I have a problem with that? No. I've actually been recommending downsizing since I first got here mentioned it in my interview. I say, bring it on. Am I afraid of downsizing? No. Because right now, this is just a job. If I went any higher, this would be my career. And if this was my career, I'd have to throw myself in front of a train. 
like I lost another file. Dwight, you want an Altoid? What do you think? In school, we learned about the scientists who taught dogs to salivate at the sound of a bell. For the past couple of weeks, I've been conducting a similar experiment. Gosh, lost another file. Dwight, you want another Altoid? Yep. Dwight, Altoid? What are you doing? I, um... What? I don't know. My mouth just feels all nasty all of a sudden. Good morning, Pam. Do we have any papers? Well, this morning I got a fax from some corporate business for you. Whoa, Pam, this is from corporate. I told you we have a special place for papers from corporate. I wasn't aware of that. I put it in, so I gave it to you. It's called the trash can. People say I'm the best boss. They go, gosh, I've never worked at a place like this. You're hilarious, and you get the best out of us. I mean... What can I say? This pretty much sums it all up. I got this at Spencer's Gifts. Hey, Tuna. Is that you singing? All four parts. Record on my computer. Took me forever. Nice. Thank you much, Lee. So you, you pick that up? No. Uh, calling myself. Just thought you'd get a kick out of the uh, new ringtone. Yikes. Large tuna, have you seen my cell phone device? No, because uh, someone's calling me. There is a call. What's going on? Uh, what are you talking about? Where is my freaking phone? Maybe it's in the ceiling. Maybe you're in the ceiling. I don't trust you, boys. Excuse me. I guess a lot of people here think it's pretty funny to steal someone's personal belongings and hide them from them. Well, here's a news flash. It's not funny. In fact, it's pretty freaking unfunny. Oh my gosh! That, that was an overreaction. Uh, I'm gonna hit the break room. Does anybody want anything? I'm good. Mike, you good? Good. Sure, all right. Okay. Looks like I lost another file. Dwight, you want an Altoid? What do you think? I don't have an Altoid. You got to here. Yeah. <laughs> Not part of this video. <coughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck? Stop. So, uh, Pam, do we have any papers today? Well, hi there, Michael. Um, this morning I got a fax from some corporate business. Pam, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is from corporate. All right. I told you we have a special filing place for corporate. Well, I wasn't aware of any place to put that paper. It's called the trash can. 
He doesn't have a wig on. So Michael had a little chat with corporate, and um, they decided to send me to some management training. Anger management, technically, but still. They say the whole course is supposed to take roughly ten weeks, but I can get it done in five. How? Name repetition. Personality mirroring and positive reinforcement with nods and smiles. Don't worry about old Andy Bernard. I'll be back, just like Rainbow.